So we'll be discussing dimensional analysis. So the problem we have here comes from uh, Seway College Physics 11th edition problem 4. So the question reads, each of the following equations was given by a student during an examination. So these are the equations. Okay, so let's see the version which looks clear. So each of the following equation equations was uh, given by a student during an examination. So this is the equation A. So the uh, it's half mv squared is equal to half mv o squared plus the square root of mgh. Then equation B is equal to V is equal to VO plus AT squared. Then C is equal to MA is equal to V squared. So MA is equal to V squared. So these are the equations. So this which we are given by the by which we are given to a student during exams. So they want us to find out if these equations are dimensionally correct. So let's start with the first equation. So this is the first equation half mv squared is equal to half mvo to the power 2 plus the square root of mgh. So m the small letter m here is mass then v squared this is the velocity squared then here g is the gravitational force h is the height so let's look at the what is the dimension for mass the dimension for mass is capital letter m the dimension for v squared which is the velocity so the dimension for velocity is equal to l over g so since this is squared, the v, v is squared, so everything will be squared. So this is, this is what is written here. Then we come here, the dimension for mass is capital letter M. The dimension for VO is this the velocity, so it's capital letter also, this is um, what you have, capital letter L squared over capital letter T squared plus the square root of, so the dimension for capital letter M is capital letter M, uh, sorry, the dimension for mass is capital letter M, which is here. Then gravity, gravity is just a form of acceleration so the dimension for gravity is just the same as that for acceleration so dimension for acceleration is l over l over t squared so this is the dimension for acceleration l over t squared so this is what we've written here then the dimension for height Height is another form of length, it's capital letter L. So this is what we've written here. Then when you multiply this, you get M, then M L squared over T squared. That's what we get. So we can see that the right hand side of the, the sorry, the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation are different so at this point we can say since the dimensions of the left hand side and right hand side are different then the equation is dimensionally incorrect so for the equation to be dimensionally correct the left hand side must equal the right hand side so in this form 
then the equation becomes dimensionally correct. But if they are different, then the equation becomes dimensionally incorrect. So, so let's look at B. So this is the equation for B. They want us to find if this equation is dimensionally correct. So let's look at it. So we from the previous question, we said the dimension for velocity is L over T. Then the dimension for acceleration is L over T squared. So you should ensure that the dimensions are put in brackets. This is how, the, for example, the dimension for length is put like that in brackets. So the dimension for time, small letter t, is equal to capital letter. Uh, so it, capital letter t is the dimension of time. So since this time, uh, this point, uh, the t is squared. So also the the capital letter t will be squared. So this is what we've written here. So let's replace these dimensions in the, in the equation. So when we replace, we get this. Where there is V, we replace with that, we get this. Then where there is VO, we replace. When we replace, we get that. Then acceleration, we, when we replace in the equation, we get this. Then T squared, when we replace with this, we get this. So, when, so when we simplify this equation, we find that this T and this, uh, this, sorry, this T squared and this T, this, this T squared, they will simplify. So, we will just remain with, we we'll just remain with L over T time uh, plus the L remaining here, which we have written here. L over T plus L. This T and this T, they've simplified. So, the right hand side, the, the left hand side and the right hand side are different. So, we can say, since the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation are different, then the equation is dimensionally incorrect. So, like I've mentioned earlier, for the equation to be dimensionally correct, the left-hand side and the right-hand side must be equal. If the left-hand side and right-hand side are not equal, then the equation becomes dim dimensionally incorrect. So, let's look at question C now. So, this is the equation we've been given. We want to find out if this equation is dimensionally correct. So small letter m is representing mass, then small letter a is representing acceleration, then v squared is representing velocity squared. So the dimension for mass is capital letter m. We should make sure that all the time we're dealing with dimensions, we put them in brackets like that. Then the dimensions for acceleration is l over t squared which is supposed to be in brackets as well because the dimension then the dimension for velocity is l over t so since the velocity here is squared meaning everything will be squared so this is what we have written here so we replace this information in the equation so when we replace that this is what we get m the capital letter M. Then acceleration is this L over T squared, capital letter T squared. So then where there is V squared, we replace with that. This is what we get. So at this point, when you ob when you examine this equation critically, you find that the left hand side and the right hand side are not equal. So since left and right hand side um, are not equal then this equation is dimensionally incorrect so 
for the equation to be dimensionally correct, the left hand side and the right hand side must be equal. So, since the left and right hand side of the equation are different, then the equation is dimensionally incorrect. So that's our conclusion. So, uh, to a summary, we can say, since the dimensions of the left hand side and right hand side of the equation are different, then equation is dimensionally incorrect. So this or B is the same reason as given here, then C is the same reason given here. So thank you for watching, remember to subscribe.